Good evening, welcome to my channel, The Angels of Alchemy. I'm spiritual medium and angelic channel, D. Graywall, and this is going to be your daily energy read for Monday, April 19th. I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. Um, real quick, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of the information is in the description box below. Also, my uh, Facebook page and my Instagram information is below as well. Um, if you're on Clubhouse, find me on Clubhouse. I am on there. And you can find me at Angels of Alchemy. No, they're just at Angels of Alchemy. Or you can find me on there as D. Graywall. Follow my club, Soul to Soul. And you'll see all the things that I'll be um, doing uh, within that club. It's growing quite quickly. So, um, and also I get to interact to you, interact with you on a one-to-one. -one. And um, I do like that platform. Um, it's audio, but it's, it's wonderful to be able to connect with people all over the world. Um, if you're on Instagram, if this reading goes over 15 minutes, you won't get the full reading. So if you want the full reading, uh, the link is um, in my bio and that will take you to my YouTube channel. With that being said, for those of you who are subscribed to my channel, I thank you so, so much. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like on the video. Those of you, new, those who are new to my channel, welcome. And if the messages resonate, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting future videos. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and like. I appreciate all of your love and support. Leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead into your reading for Monday. From the Moonology deck, we have Luck is on your side, New Moon in Sagittarius. I do feel you're being supported by spirit. There's some kind of message, epiphany, realization that is going to kind of show you where you're being supported um, on your path, I feel, this week. And know that uh, there's, there's a divine blessing that's coming in with this card of Luck is on your side. There's some kind of spiritual truth that you're seeing. You're seeing from a higher perspective or needing to see from a higher perspective. You have perspective, truth, knowledge, clarity. I do feel, um, you know, this is the card of the third eye. So perhaps you need to work on your third eye chakra this week, focusing on seeing, going within to see clearly, okay? Clarifying this card of seeing, you have the three of swords. So as we're going into Monday, there's some kind of um, heartache and something that has been quite heavy and emotional with the Three of Swords. It's a difficult card when you look at the image. Um, it's a card of betrayal, uh, a card of heartache, heartbreak, okay? And I feel that you're starting to see something clearly about significant relationships from your past. Um, perhaps you've been going through an ending within a relationship and there's a lot of emotion here surrounding that but you're seeing something clearly because you have the three of wands with the three of swords and so perhaps something didn't unfold the way that you had hoped and you've, you, you were kind of waiting for your ships to come in for a while and perhaps this is about you um, feeling like you've been dealt a hard blow when it comes to relationships that you know, what you've been dreaming about and what you've been wanting to come into your life hasn't, and you've been waiting for quite some time. There's a feeling of waiting here. And, but you're also starting to see the part that you played on why you didn't, why things didn't unfold the way they were meant to. What were you holding on to? Where did you have to take a step to let something go? Where were you settling for less than what you truly deserve? Some of you were in a third party relationship um but i do feel you know because you have the three of cups clarifying three of swords and the the um three of wands here so you know i do feel that yeah some of you were definitely involved in a third party you know third party doesn't al always mean um you know, a partner cheating with somebody else. Third party could be perhaps, you know, in your relationships, there's always been th some kind of third party interference within family, okay? In that way, perhaps there was um, betrayals within friendships, some feeling here as well. But you're starting to see 
things clearly or you're needing to with that card of seeing perspective truth knowledge and clarity i kind of feel like there's this feeling of self-awareness and self-reflection that's allowing you to see the truth clearly there is some kind of great awakening that's happening and um because you have awakening genius you know there's this awakening some of you are going through a deep inner transformation it's kind of like that next step on your journey on your path with the awakening genius here and there's a new beginning okay that's manifesting as you're going within you're connecting to source and spirit that spark of creativity is beginning to flow you're becoming from being in a place of solitude and going within you're becoming aligned to your authentic truth authentic self and experiencing peace from within you have clarifying awakening genius temperance card so through this awakening you're going through this period of harmony and peace and finding your own inner balance and stability there's a great transformation that's unfolding with these butterflies your emotions are becoming more stable okay you're becoming grounded in who you are and there's a spark of, of inspiration that's coming from all of this because clarifying temperance and awakening genius, you have the ace of wands. It's like you're going through a reawakening of your heart. Your heart is beginning to heal and you're going through this period of awakening. Um, really going through this transformational uh, journey of your inner self and where previously there was a block on your heart and where you were feeling a lack of inspiration or passion or desire there's a new spark that's been ignited here and you're moving towards those things you feel truly passionate about there's a new beginning that's you know th there's a spark of creativity that's unfolding unraveling and becoming You're awakening to your inner gifts. And here it is. Something that is going to bring you stability with the four. Because the four is about grounding. It's about stability. It's about the material as well. You have caterpillar with opportunity. There's a metamorphosis that's happening here. You know, this, this new opportunity. It's going to take a little time to unfold but it's going to bring you great abundance and it's unfolding here in the spring. Okay, I do feel it's happening now. This opportunity is now. Okay, there's a great metamorphosis that's happening and, you know, you're becoming the butterfly. You have this news that's going to be coming in. There's some kind of epiphany or realization that you're having with Page of Swords. The Page is of Swords, That you know, this is the messenger. And so... You know, this is also the card of self-realization, self-clarity and epiphanies. Um, but I do feel that there's going to be an opportunity in regards to work. Because with opportunity, you have Page of Swords, some kind of news that's coming in, and the Emperor card. So this is also about you having an idea that's going to help you to assume that leadership position, becoming an entrepreneur, moving towards your success and abundance, creating a solid foundation. For others of you, this is about a new job opportunity, okay? Perhaps this emperor, um, this could be, this is a um, card of Aries, could be presenting you with a job offer here. You're starting to gain your confidence with the magician's sword. You have confidence in your magic manifesting you're starting to realize that you have the man you have the power to manifest the life of your dreams and what it is that you wish to create and there's some kind of um breakthrough okay breakthrough i feel like you're cutting through the blocks busting through the blocks and realizing your own power and being confident in who you are and the power that you have the ability that you have to create and manifest the joy the abundance the dreams in your life that you wish to wish to create okay to manifest into being um clarifying that this is you have the ten of pentacles here it is having the confidence knowing 
that you have the ability to live a very happy, blessed and abundant life. Happy home, happy life, stability, great abundance. You're having the confidence to do that. Your guidance card, you have loyal heart, okay? I feel like five, six, seven, eight, yeah. This is a time of abundance in all areas of your life. Where previously there were betrayals, there was mistrust, where your relationships didn't work out as you'd hoped. Know that there are going to be people and new alliances that you meet now where they will be loyal to you, but also how loyal are you, okay? Remember, we attract what we put out. So make sure you're, you're, you're being loyal. And are you loyal to your path? Are you committed to your path? Don't give up and know that spirit is always loyal to you and spirit is supporting you on your journey, on your path. What are you committed to right now? And it is what you're committed to, committed to you. Is it serving you? Those are the other things we need to look at. You know, I do feel you're going to be forming new partnerships and alliances that are going to really be supportive on your journey. And if previously you've been betrayed, that is changing, that is shifting. This is a time of great growth and opportunity, and it's a lucky time. You've got two cards indicating luck is on your side here with the rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. And in the beginning, you had luck, on, luck is on your side. This is a time of fertility, growth, abundance, success, prosperity, there's a renewal and a rebirth that's taking place here. And that's, if you look at the spring, that's what the spring season is about. Um, I've been seeing rabbits for months, believe it or not. Even in the winter season, I was seeing the rabbit. There's there's, um, there's family of them that live in my, in my backyard. And so I've been connecting to the energy of that and see where it's bringing in opportunity and blessings in my life. So that beautiful, you know, that's a lovely card to get here, okay? Um, and then you have your postcard from Spirit. So let's see what Spirit has to say. Dearest you, are you taking yourself and your problems too seriously? Maybe fear of the future is weighing on you. We would like you to, to take a little break from all that and start having fun. When you stop fixating on what has been making you heavy hearted, we get a chance to move some magic in your direction. We just need you to let go a little. Spirit needs some room and gets very inspired by your laughter when you have fun. When was the last time you got really loose, silly and goofy? Maybe you need to go dancing or watch some very funny comedy to make you laugh. Or call the one friend you know will remind you how ridiculous and delightfully giddy you can be. You will return refreshed and renewed and ready to once again see the world as less daunting. And you will be ready to receive in perfect timing the bounty that spirit has for you. There's definitely gifts coming in from the universe. Don't you just love how much we care about you? Beautiful message to wrap up this reading. So that's your reading for the week, guys. I'm wishing you a blessed and beautiful. I'm sorry, that's your daily reading for Monday, April 19th. I'm wishing you a blessed and beautiful day. I'll be back soon. Take care. Namaste.